We're sitting here in front of an invector painted in a different way than we've seen before, and there's a reason for that. There's a new thing going on for Evector in the United States, and I think it's pretty exciting. So we've come over here to talk about it. I'm Dan Johnson talking to John Mock, who is from a company called Jet Access. But just in case you're concerned, we're not going to talk about jets. Well, a little bit, but mostly we're going to talk about this airplane. John, welcome to Sound and Fun. Uh, I think this is your first time here associated with this product, is that right? Yes, yeah, my first time here ever. Oh, cool. And, All right. um, well, welcome. It's the second event I've, I've partnered with the Vector. I was uh, with Oshkosh the last year, and uh, this year they had me come down. Uh, we're forming a great partnership. Their customer service and communication is excellent. Uh, I've purchased 12 of these aircraft, and um, I, I really enjoy the relationship that's forming with the Vector. Cool. Well, let's uh, let's come back a little bit and say, all right, so we got a Vector and we got some representatives in the country. They've just been selling. Your operation, well, you got to give me the, the, I want the high level description of all the things you guys do because Jet Access is involved in a lot of different things. And Jet Access all about? So Jet Access is a national scale, vertically integrated aviation enterprise. We're involved in everything for, from the 10th largest charter company in the world, 135 Charter Operations, Part 91 Jet Management. We're 145 repair station for turbine, piston, avionics, um, Garmin dealer, Sears Platinum Training Center and Service Center, um, hangar leasing and FBO management. We do it all. And uh, <laughs> That's a handful of stuff there. Obviously flight training as well. And uh, the way we handle flight training is unique as well because we offer just pay-as-you-go FBO training. People knock on the door, want a flight review, private pilot only, or personal rentals with friends and family. People can take our planes on vacation. Uh, we do a Part 61 accelerated commercial program all the way to multi-engine commercial and multi-engine instructor. Uh, we do four different collegiate programs, including Liberty University and Purdue University Global wow. at all of our locations. And then... Now, um, what are you doing with them? I mean, those guys, Purdue and, uh, and uh, the other one, I forgot it already, uh, they're, all, they're doing their own operations. What are you doing for them? Good question. So, we provide the flight training side. Um, it, it allows us to bring a very price competitive product to market and the quality of private businesses and they enroll in online classes through Liberty or Purdue and um, they complete their collegiate coursework online while they're involved in our flight training face to face and um, for example Purdue they enroll in our accelerated program um, upon private they enroll in Purdue University Global with a 20% tuition discount and then as they build up their 1,500 hours as a CFI with us, being employed and paid. Okay. They finish their classes. So from the point of enrollment as a brand new student to the point of having 1,500 hours, it's about two, two and a half years. Okay. And then upon 1,500 hours, they get a really competitive offer to fly our private jets for the rest of their careers if they want. Wow, cool. So you can train them. You can educate them in various ways. You can get them a work experience and accumulation of hours, and then they can actually get a job with you. Yes, and uh, because- <laughs> That's pretty vertically oriented, all right. Yeah, and because of aircraft like this, um, for example, this one's a technically advanced aircraft, Garmin glass cockpit, autopilot, and we sell for $130, $140 an hour, while our competitors with um, equal equipment are selling their aircraft $250, $350 an hour for a single engine aircraft, other large commercial schools. Wow. Um, when they're technically advanced like this. Um, and, and along with what I said prior is, we also do pay as you go FBO training. So we support our local communities where we have our FBOs and a very ignored segment of the market is light sport training. Mm -hmm. And we're the first large national scale aviation um, business flight school that's providing sport pilot training to everybody, just pay as you go sport pilot training and rentals for the planes. You got history with this airplane. Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, so I've personally flown in a Vector for around 3,500 hours. That's a lot of a Vector yep. time. And um, may, you may be one of the highest guys in the country with that number, actually. So yeah, continue. and I operated them commercially for around 10, 12,000 hours over about a four-year period. And um, once you I mean all the airplanes that you were operating. Yes, okay. not personally flying, yeah, yeah, but under it. my management. And uh, my partner at uh, Sport Pilot Chicago, okay. he was um, helping me do all that as well. It's not a one-man show like that. Yeah, no, of course not. Um, <laughs> so then I went. Now you're to operating Jet Access. three vectors there, as I recall, right? Three, four, around. It depends on the time. That's how you got yeah. that much time on them. Okay, continue. Yep. So then I went to Jet Access. 
Um, and when I took over that operation, we had legacy trainers, Cessna 172s, Piper Archers, and uh, we have other university partners like uh, Ivy Tech Community College and Quincy University. And they were trying to figure out how to bring a higher quality, lower cost product to market. And I brought them the vectors. I demoed them from Sport Pilot Chicago. He was very supportive. And um, Ivy Tech Community College was the first one to sign for two of these ah, okay. uh, because they get technically advanced aircraft. They're four inches wider inside than a Piper Archer, six inches wider than a 172, so they fit modern Americans better. <laughs> um, and glass cockpit, autopilot, the ramp presence is phenomenal. So Ivy Tech committed to two of them with us, and um, that's how it all started. That's when I started purchasing them as well for my own flight school, coming into the fleet standardization, swapping out. And so that really opened up the floodgates. Currently we have 12 coming in. And um, now, fully... how many schools are those 12 gonna go to? Good question. So part of uh, our long-term strategy is a standardized fleet. It's very important for us to be able to support our customers, whether they're commercial students or just private rentals. Um, so it's important for me to have two, at least two at every location of ours. Uh, currently we're at seven airports. Once we get more aircraft, we're gonna be at nine airports. Uh, by the end of quarter three. Um, so I, w I need two at every single airport. Okay. So you're going to be buying a bunch of these as time goes on then, I'm guessing. Yep, I fully intend to. Um, I, I'm working out with the Vector how I can get around 20 a year. Is that right? Wow, mm -hmm. okay. So that's really exciting. And one reason why I wanted you to go through those numbers is that a lot of pilots are saying, well, but I, I love, I want to follow this up. I want to get a I want to get my sport pilot license first and then we'll see what happens later, but I can't find enough places to do it. I've got to go all the way across the country. Now, exactly. you're located, you're kind of centered in the Midwest. Are you going to be expanding from there? Yes. So I mean, right now, you're. Uh, where's your headquarters right now? Our corporate headquarters is in Indian Indianapolis. Okay, so Indianapolis, um, so that yep. part of the country is kind of where your operations are now. Yes. But you have bigger plans than that, I know. Oh, absolutely. So once you get more aircraft, uh, Texas, Florida are coming. Um, and we're working on California as well. So with that expansion, we're able to bring, like you said, the light sport training to support the market. There's not enough light sport There's schools out there. We need more. There's and some good schools. So if you've got a school, we're glad you're there, folks, but we need more. And you guys seem absolutely. like you're well positioned to bring more. We, we can bring more at a commercial scale, driving down our prices because we manage every vertical. We pump the fuel in our planes. There are hangers. It's our maintenance. Um, it, it really allows us to Offer, offer the market um, low price aircraft, modern, and um, support support that. Now you mentioned a, a phrase that I want to do just a moment on to make sure people understand. A technically advanced aircraft, sometimes abbreviated TAA, doesn't mean an aircraft that's somehow different. It means an aircraft with a, basically a certain panel arrangement is that allows FAA to say, okay, for a Part 41, 141 school or for some other kinds of training, it has to be a TAA. And people go, well, that has to be a Cirrus or a Cessna with a Garmin 1000 or whatever. No, it doesn't. It can be this aircraft. Am I right about those things? Yeah, absolutely. So you have to have glass cockpit and a dual axis autopilot system to be categorized as technically advanced aircraft. And the phenomenal part of that from my operation is I don't need retractable and complex aircraft anymore. Technically, I can do sport pilot, private, instrument, commercial, CFI, CFII, all in this aircraft <laughs> at the low cost. I hope you heard all that because that was a mouthful, but it's important. Yes, um, at a low cost, consistent aircraft, um, it, and it really is, is gonna revolutionize the flight training market because um, I can have a standardized fleet at a low cost, modern aircraft, and for people who are commercial or career orientated, technically advanced time is a special column in their logbook um, for uh -huh. when they move up to the jets. Um, they want to see TAA time. Uh -huh. So it's important to be flying in these modern aircraft if you're making a career of it. Uh, John, that's a lot of information I've asked you. Thank you for being patient with all my questions. Uh, we want to send people to some websites. Let's start out with the Jet Access website that you're, you're in charge of, not the website itself, but the company. Where, where's your website address? So they can find us at flyjetaccess.com uh, or flyjetaccess.com slash learn and uh, that will bring them to the flight school section. Okay. And uh, if they want to see all of our verticals and our product offerings, flyjetaccess.com. Okay, great. I want to mention that there are three vector representatives. There may be a new website coming eventually with, with this new arrangement that's uh, evolving here as we speak. Uh, but I want to mention some of the other uh, website addresses for you. One of them is abflight.com. Uh, uh, that's uh, Art Tirola down here, based down here in Florida. There is also 
I'm gonna make sure I get this right here. MidwestSportPlanes.com. That's Steve Minich, and he's based in Ohio. And then there is Steve Trutola. I always struggle with his name a little bit, but he's at Sunrise Aviation, and he's out on the West Coast. So those three, SunriseAviation.com. Those three are the current U.S. representatives. They've been slugging it out here for many years. Uh, now they're all energized because now this thing is really starting to take off on them. All those people are going to remain involved doing what they're doing because they do the selling mm -hmm. of the airplanes, like and you're going to you're going you're to end up training them then. Yeah, and some of the names that you mentioned, I have all their personal cell phone numbers, and I call them up at nine o'clock at night, say, "Hey, I got this plane down. Can you overnight any parts?" It's amazing. Great. Uh, I'm so glad to hear. These guys so glad to hear you're getting good service out of the uh -huh. existing guys. They're glad you've come into the picture. Sounds like everybody's winning on this. Absolutely. Thing. Thanks so much. Thanks uh, for watching us here as we talk about flight schools and the exciting developments that are happening for this lovely Vector aircraft. This, by the way, is the Harmony we're sitting in front of. And uh, you can find more about the Vectors, the whole line of them, and lots of other affordable aviation on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining John Mock and myself here at Sun and Fun. Thank you.